So hello once again and welcome to Tina's Tasty Treats. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for the lovely photos that was given in for uh, the pasta bake that we did last time. And another service user actually um, did half of the recipe, saved his, his jar of um, bolognese, put it in the fridge and then used it again, which is a brilliant idea because you can't reheat your pasta. So he could use it twice and have two meals. He didn't, I don't think he put his broccoli in. He said he put plenty of cheese, so well done for that. So this time, we're going to do a little sweet and we're going to do almond biscuits. So a service user actually gave me this recipe. But I've just twisted it a little bit because we're going to talk about eggs. So we're going, to do, we're going to do this recipe using egg whites. So and then she can let us know if it was easier or harder. So what we need today is chocolate, the main ingredient eggs, we've got yoghurt, we've got almonds and we've got coffee and some sugar. So we'll get started. So what we need to do, we need to separate our eggs. Now I don't know if everybody can do this, this is a bit tricky. So it does say, let's have a look, it says we need four egg whites. That's what everyone can see. So we've got to separate the yolk from the egg white. So like I said, it is quite tricky. So I've got myself a cup because that's where I'm going to put the shell. This is where I'm going to put the yolk and this is where I'm going to put the white. So let's have a go, see what we can do. So you're just going to chop into it like that. Oh, mind if I do it a bit more. So when you pull it apart, so what you've got to do, oh, you're going to put the egg white in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and let the egg white run out. But we have got to make sure we don't get any yolk in there. So let's pull it apart like that. Just keep taking it across. If you do get egg yolk in, then it won't throw up. It won't peak up when you're... Um... When you're whisking it, that's it. Let's try that again. Gently pull it apart. And pass it from one shell to the other. Look. Ooh. I'm not going to say I'm pretty proud of myself because uh, I've got two more to go. So pop that in there. So what could we use the uh, yolk for? Would we chuck it in the bin? Or we could use it for an omelette. Because we have got two spare eggs in this pack. So we could just add it all. Oh, see what I mean? You have to be very careful when you're doing this. There we go. One more. When you break it, don't break it over the egg white because if you do get any yolk in there, then you're going to have to do it all over again. It's a, it's a tricky technique. So the recipe that I was given had a full egg in it. It had um, flour. Ooh. So what we'll do, we're going to give it a try. I'm going to wash my hands because I've been touching egg. So we place the egg whites in a clean bowl and whisk until they form soft peaks. So I'm going to have a little go. I'm just get a towel and put it underneath, it won't be so noisy. And it um, stabilises the bowl as well. Do that so everyone can see. So I'm just whisking it. So let's hope this yolk doesn't affect it in any way. So this is a bit long-winded, it's making my arm ache. 
I've got in there an electric whiz, so I'm going to swap and get electric whiz. Here we go, I'm going to try again with the whiz, because that was making my arm ache. I've got my sugar here, so we're going to add that into the egg white. So, can you see? So, as I'm doing that, I'm very similar to how we make um, meringues. Right, so we're going to add. Add the flour onto the whites and then spoon over the almonds. So we've got the flour. So I'm going to add the flour to the white. There we go. Let's grab the almonds. everything together keeping the mixture light and airy so let's just add the almonds you don't have to do almonds if you don't like almonds you can put something else in it's up to you oh a bit on there not for the oops so what you do now is you don't mix it too much you just fold the mixture over look Remember your folding techniques. There and there's our mixture ready to go into the oven. Just put that on there. Right, let's go into the oven. There we go. Using. Look, I've got this big um, oven dish here. So I'm going to put some parchment paper over it. This is to stop the biscuits from sticking onto the actual tin. So it's saying to take a tablespoon, so you see how nice and fluffy it is? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay it You've got to spread them apart, so not too close, because then when they um, cook they'll probably go into each other as well Different sizes, but it doesn't matter Yeah, makes 34 biscuits. However, I've got 21 of them a bit bigger. It doesn't matter. If you want big biscuits, it really doesn't matter. So anyway, so we're going to open the oven. It's been on preheat. Pop those ones in there. Um, I'll put them in there. Oh, I'll put them in there. And we're going to cook them for 20 minutes. There we go. Put the timer on there. So in the meantime, um, I've done this.
this mixture so that we're going to soak it in coffee, but the coffee needs to be cool. So I'm going to make the mixture now and then leave it to cool. So when these are cooked, we'll add it all together. So they're cooked, so let's get these bottom ones out now. Very carefully. Mind yourself because they're very hot. So what we're going to do, these have got to cool, so we're going to put them on a cooling rack. So I'll leave this glove on, love. And the reason we use the parchment paper, hopefully, oh wait a minute, I might need to take that glove off. So they don't stick. So our final stage of our cooking class is we're going to put this, um, these biscuits together. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grate my chocolate. I've got a twirl so they're easy to grate. So we could even get a flake but I couldn't find any. So all you've got to do is just sprinkle it on the top. So there we go, look, so that's that. I'm just going to put them big bits. Then I've got my little bowl because we can make them into a pudding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put probably, I'll try one. So I'm going to put a biscuit in the bowl. I'm going to pour over the coffee. Just let that mix a little minute. Or we could have it as another little pudding. So taking our yoghurt, place a dollop of yoghurt in the middle, a nice big dollop. And let's place, grab that one on top if you wanted to. There's another way that we could have our biscuits. Oh, don't fall. Well, the final way is we could take our biscuit, I'll get one with a bit of a hollow. Place our yoghurt on top and then sprinkle some of the chocolate on. So there you go. There are your three ways that you can have these biscuits. So I'm just waiting for that to um, mix in. Yes. Right, place another one in there, look. Can you see? You don't want it. To run it. A bit more around. I don't want it too runny at the bottom, do we? There we go. So we've got our mixture there. We can then add our yogurt on top. A nice dessert for a Sunday afternoon. And then sprinkle our chocolate on the top. There we go. So as you can see, out of them one biscuits, we've got three different types of pudding. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed doing it. I'd love to see your comments and your photos. Thank you very much. Bye.